our, our next presentation is from Dr. Mutez Ahmad, and he is from University of Göttingen, Germany, and he will be presenting his paper on root type matters, measurement of water uptake by seminal, crown, and lateral roots in maize. Dr. Mutez Ahmad. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Mutaz Ahmed, and I work at the Division of Soil Hydrology in Gothenburg University. The main uh, aim of my talk is to answer to the question of where such a maize root system take up water from the soil. And let me start by the motivation of why we need to study roots. We are all here because we know that water is the main limitation to crop production worldwide. And since roots are the plant organ taking up water from the soil, we as a scientist have suggested roots as the main research target to improve the ability of plants to take up water from the soil. The main assumption we have so far is that by selecting for deeper and more profuse root system, this root system should tap extra water from the soil and should be able to alleviate drought. However, and we have heard from many, is that actually it's not that simple. This simple of assumption of deeper and more profuse root system is not able to explain the root function. And that's why actually in this talk, we have tried to target a different approach. And I have tried to suggest it that we should, instead of just focusing in selecting deeper and more profuse root system. So instead of, in other words, instead of focusing on root links and root distribution, we should be focusing on the root function. And let me start by showing you a maize root system for those of you who are not aware of that. So maize root system for, uh, form what they call a fibrous root system in which you have primary seminal and their laterals during the first two weeks. And thereafter they form what we all know as nodal roots or what I will be calling here crown roots. And the question that I wanted to answer where this plant is taking up water from the soil. Even more importantly, these roots form many axial roots and all these axial roots, they branch laterals. What is the relative importance of these laterals compared to the axial in root water uptake? And since we are here for drought, what is the root type that they are able to take up water from deep soil? So we have a very simple setup. So we grow maize for two weeks and five weeks old. And the idea is that during five and two weeks old, we have different root system. We grow them in such an aluminum container that they were 40 by 40. We divided the soil into compartments using capillary barrier. And the idea was to hydraulically disconnect this compartment from each other. And we used the tracer that's called heavy water and an imaging technique that's called neutron radiography. For those of you who are not aware of neutron radiography, it's very similar to an X-ray, but it is very sensitive to water, which makes it excellent in studying water and roots. This is a Two picture of a neutron radiography. This picture shows a root of two weeks old. This shows a root of five weeks old roots. And since roots are full of water, you very clearly see the different root types. But still, this picture just shows you where the roots are and where the water are in the soil. And if you want to measure where these roots take up water, you need to trace it. That's why we use the tracer. And we had inje we injected this tracer in different locations. But I am going to show you four examples. In the first example, we will focus on the two weeks old, and I will show you the first example where we compare the water uptake by seminals and lateral in the more proximal, and with proximal, I mean the older part of these roots. And the second example will be, we will look at the water uptake by the younger part of the seminals root, where my idea was to see whether these roots are able to take up water from deep soil. We will then see the same two examples in the, in the five weeks old, where the root system is getting a little bit more complicated, and here we will also not only compare the water uptake by crown roots, but we will also see what happens to the lateral root that they were already there. So let's go to the first movie. Before I start this movie, what you will see in white is the tracer that we injected. What you will see in black is the, is the normal water that we pushed away. And I would like you just to focus on how the roots, the laterals, they will be in this direction, how fast they will turn bright, meaning how fast they will take the tracer compared to the seminal that they will be in this direction. If we start it, what do we see? We see very quickly all the laterals start to turn bright, meaning that starting to take up water from the soil. And it took a while for these seminals, which they are in this direction, to take up water from the laterals 
And as soon as they took the loader from the laterals, they start to transport it to the chute. I will repeat it. Already the laterals turned bright, meaning they took up already the water, and it took a while for the seminars to took up water from the ladder and transport it to the chute. If we move to the second example, and here we will look at the first 20 centimeters of the seminal's root, and what do we see? We saw that immediately after injection, these roots were able to take up water from the soil, but they were not able to transport it to the chute. And the reason was not difficult, looking at the literature, people they measure the maturation of the xylem, and they found out that in maize, the first 20 centimeters of the xylem is not mature, and this fits very well with our observation. Let's move to the five-week-old maize. And the first example, we will look at the water uptake by the ground roots. But at the same time, I would like you to see what happens to the laterals of the seminals that they were very active in the two weeks old maize. And if we start the movie, it was very interesting because we saw that the water uptake zone actually shift and water was mainly taken up by ground roots. Where are the laterals of the seminals that they were active in the young plant? They were not active anymore in root water uptake. And if we go to the second example, which looking at the water uptake from the distal, from the first 20 centimeter of these ground roots, and remember, the seminal's root, they were not able to take up water from this distal part. What about the crown? They were not only able to take up water from the soil, but they were also able to transport it to the chute. And the explanation might be two. First explanation might be that the development of the xylem is faster in this root. The other explanation might be the dissipation of the pressure. We know that the seminal, they form a lot of laterals, and this results in a dissipation of a pressure, whereas this crown, they form very short laterals, and this probably allowed this root to take up water from deeper soil. Now, these are nice movies. They visualize where the water enters to the root, but if you want to get a little bit more quantitative and give a number, you need to model the process, because the water will flow into the root following two main processes. The tracer will move only by diffusion because you have a higher concentration into soil compared to the root. And during the day, the plant will transpire and it will suck the water from the soil. And to try to go around that, we did experiment at night in where we get this part of the equation, the diffusion. And then if we repeat the experiment at day, and at day you have diffusion and convection. But since we know the convection from the night, so we can impose it and we can calculate the water uptake. And we did that. And you get such a kind of figure. Here I am showing the concentration of the heavy water over time after injection. So time zero was the injection for different root types. And you see that very clearly the laterals were very fast to take up the tracer. It was slower in the crown roots and the seminals, they had a very minor contribution. So we did this for two weeks old, for four weeks old, and we could map where these roots are taking up water from the soil. I fortunately, I don't have time to show all, but by doing that during night, by fitting the concentration during the night, you can get the diffusion, and then by fitting the concentration during day, and by imposing the diffusion, you can calculate the water uptake. And the main conclusion I would like everybody to go out from here is that the two weeks old maize, the water was mainly taken up by laterals, whereas the seminals, they were collecting the water from the laterals, and they were transporting it to the chute. Furthermore, we saw that actually the distal part, the younger part of the seminals root, they were not able to take up water from the soil. And this is very clear if you compare the order of magnitude between these three types of fruit. If we move to the five weeks old maize, we saw that the picture was totally reversed and that the water uptake was mainly taken up by the crown and their laterals, whereas the seminals and the laterals of the seminals that they were very active during the two weeks old, they started to be not active anymore in root water uptake. And my main final message from the talk is that root five meters and actually, at the at different stage of the plant, certain amount, a certain type of root, root, roots, sorry, are able to take up water or are responsible to take up water from the soil. And has, this has to be measured and has to be accounted for the breeding programs. Thank you so much. Thank you and thank you for keeping to time.